Okay, there are a lot of different types of fish oil. Cod liver oil, krill oil, salmon oil. Um, a lot of the fish oils are made with anchovies and sardines. Which one do you think is best? Well, I think they're probably all good. I think we all remember as kids, remember cod liver oil, cod liver oil and the wonderful taste of cod liver oil. Uh, one of the problems with cod liver oil is the fact that it has vitamin D. Now, of course, we all need vitamin D, but it doesn't give you a controlled amount of vitamin D. Uh, so certainly, I'm, I'm really not going to recommend cod liver oil. Not that it's not good, right? But it certainly has the vitamin D, and you want to control the amount of vitamin D you get. But all of the other um, uh, oils, right, whether it be fish oil, krill oil, um, uh, whether it be salmon, uh, they all have one thing in common, or I should say two things in common, and that is EPA and D D DHA, okay? And I surely would recommend taking a total of about 3 grams or 3,000 milligrams of EPA DHA combinations. Now you have to take a look at that, you have to take a look at the packages and see exactly what is on the package. Because many of them will say, well, there's a thousand milligrams in this particular capsule of fish oil. And they're certainly right, there is a thousand milligrams. But there is not a thousand milligrams of EPA DHA combination. So you want to look at EPA DHA only. All right, and you want to get approximately three grams or three thousand milligrams a day. And that'll usually run anywhere between uh, three to six capsules a day. Uh, I know, for instance, there's uh, one. Uh, the uh, lesser uh, the lesser products on the market that contains a thousand milligrams of fish oil and yet it only has 300 milligrams of EPA DHA combination so you need 10 capsules well 10 capsules we all know is kind of foolish right but certainly there's something called um, uh, 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 ortho uh, omega and ortho omega contains a combination of about 720 milligrams of EPA DHA. So you only need four capsules. All right? And you shouldn't have to take any more than between four to six capsules a day. The other thing you really want to think about is, is it pure? How much mercury is in there? Has it been uh, molecularly distilled? Another thing that you should be looking for. Right? So you've got to be very, very caref careful as to which EPA, DHA you get, or I should say, which fish oil product you get. Now, uh, certainly I recommended the one ortho. I certainly would recommend a Carlson's fish oil, which is actually either in capsule or in liquid. And those are pure, and those are molecularly distilled, so the amount of mercury is infinitesimal. And that's what you're looking for when it comes to fish oil. Now, um, with the fish oils, is there different types of fish oil you should use for different health conditions you may have? Any recommendations for that? Yes. You may want different amounts of EPA and DHA. DHA is especially used for the brain, so you may want to have much, much higher levels of DHA in it. Or you may want to take a capsule that is primarily DHA, right? But usually the combination of EPA, DHA is pretty much where you want to be. 